Hello everyone and welcome back to part 7 of Call of Juarez. So hopefully we're out of those nasty swamps that we had in the last episode because they made movement rather difficult. Which is obviously a problem when you've got a Gatling gun looking at you. Let's see what we end up with this time. My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well... I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but me and my older brothers were bigger and heavier. They were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me. Until I heard he was riding with the Wild Bunch. Oh, the Great Train Robbery. Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. This one could be interesting. I'd been on their trail for months. Ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Led by Butch Cassidy, they were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. Sorry, it's telling me I've got a point available. We'll just stop his story. All right, let's get the last one of these. Extra damage for combos. And then, going forwards, we can drop into this one. Let's see, what would he get? I just like slow down time. That's kind of handy. Uh, hints about nuggets of truth, not overly amazing. Additional zoom, that's pretty good. Capacity, fast reload. Hmm. What? Long distance sharps you to upgrade your pistol first. Fair enough. I figured the wild bunch would likely hit such a treasure, and by God, I figured right. Sounds like gunshots. It was that or a storm. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Seems it worked. Well, I assume the wild bunch was likely in the still intact part of the train high above. So I had no choice but to make my way up through the passenger cars dangling down. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. Oh, you are a crazy bastard for climbing through these things. Um, I guess it's through here. Yeah, this isn't going to end well. Basically, it's reminding me of um, one of the Uncharted games, I'm sure, has a train that does something like this. A 
quite like the sawn off rifle. And if we're going inside, it might end up being better. Now, what's it going to blow up? I found the device they used to blow the tracks, so I knew I was headed in the right direction. Okay, we were just checking we'd detonated all the explosives, I guess. My ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? I can't hear a goddamn thing. Well, I made my way off unscathed and came Is upon a few members of the Pinkerton? gang and had no choice but to dispatch them. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. But first, I would need to get my ass out of there. Anything interesting in the wagon? Lots of dynamite. I guess if you're going to blow up a bridge, it's uh, kind of required. Oh, I'm so getting shot at on this. from the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. Who did I kill? I got a piercing shot kill, but it wasn't the guy in the room. Gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past the whole passel of desperados. Well, that was just unfortunate for you there, wasn't it? Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my prey. Crap knows where those initial bullets went. They did not go where the target is. Well, what about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. Here we go again. Huh. Huh. That's what you get. Definitely liking the choice of the uh, the dual wield at the moment. Coming in mighty handy. Although, where the hell do we go now? I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights, but I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Oh no. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway, so I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could. Shoot his kneecaps. Had enough? Timber. Where's your little friends? You're done. Oh, there's nobody behind me. Ooh. Times it was like shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is he's damn duck shot back. That possibly wasn't the best plan. That's one way to get into the safe. Alright, we can go over there or up the ladder. I'm expecting up the ladder. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. Man, like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about. Did they come riding in? Guns a blazing to help? Um. Grand Posse versus the Wild Bunch. 
help from the Pinkertons? <laughs> no, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome, as usual. Who the hell is that? Nope, nobody in there. Is that a person? Nope. Or if it is, it's not someone I can kill at the moment. Just like hey, actually. Bring it on! We got there. There's Luke. No? Okay. Maybe they're what I'm already using. Well, that worked. Is those dime novels didn't portray this as it happened, did they? Is that the Gatling gun? Only a few stragglers were left, and I had to cut them down pronto if I was going to stay on old Bob's trail. Well, this is one way to level up. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? The fastest gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry, and maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. Wait for it. I hate how the little thing drifts off him and then starts zooming out. I was too busy concentrating on trying to get that back on him. I wasn't watching whether he was actually moving or not. Wow, he's quick. Probably doesn't help the focus was low. I wonder if that actually impacts how quickly he moves. Yeah, okay, so focus seems to be something to do with it. Because he was a lot slower then, I had to focus a lot higher. I'm not sure what moving your hand does. I can move my hand about. same day Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America.
They ended up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. I'm sure moving that hand around has to do something. I should probably look into that. If someone knows in comments, let me have a let me have the information. I'm sure I'll forget to go look it up within, you know, ten minutes. Um, but given how short that one was, I think I will carry on. Probably straight into the longest episode in the uh, damn game, but we'll see. Oh, dear. I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he would disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with them. Gotta love night missions when you're playing in the middle of the day with sun streaming in the window. It always goes well. Alright, we'll get our first upgrade point in here. You get bogs that glow that colour? Fairly sure you don't in Europe, but we're not in Europe, so... Good stealth there, uh, Silas. Good stealth. Probably one of that the most man-made noises you could have. Don't let him hear you saying that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. And... Dynamite Ho! Being outnumbered, I didn't bother with a warning shot. I just started taking those bastards down. What? That's it for you. The one I shot at didn't take the damage and some random guy behind him I didn't see died. Good job. Old Bob wasn't among them and neither was Kid Curry. I could sense them close by, however, plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. And that's when I found a randomly scribbled note that happened to tell me. I knew there'd be explosive down here somewhere. I just wasn't sure where it was to shoot. Need a scope on that rifle. Never mind. And I found one. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. That's some impressive engineering work. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children. Though some say it was only five. Slight difference there, Silas. Guess I'm making a jump for it. Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was going to rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. The bridge was rigged with dynamite, so I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. 
A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. That's um convenient. Blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Where were those voices? Ah, down there. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to be able to stealth up behind them, get the jump on them. Do we reckon we can melee them? I'm going to try. Or not. But the wild bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Guess there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. Now you're really pissing me off. Oh well, don't worry about it. Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. Uh -oh. I can kill you with either hand. Pretty sure I just shot his hand off. Why am I fighting next to a barrel of powder? Somebody well, they lined up nicely. Ow. to remove more of that damn dynamite. And more magical ladders appear. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. Um I did. Aha. Uh -huh. I get him? I got him. So that was all the dynamite? Funny you should mention that, darling. Oops. Because actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Not quite as much as falling off the uh, the bridge would impede your progress. Right, we'll try that again. I see where we gotta go now. So that was all the dynamite? Funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. Oh, you're kidding. That was too close. And those things have lots of armor.
Where is he? That's not him. He must have fallen off the bridge or something. That that way just wasn't gonna work. I needed an alternate path forward. The one made one in my mind as I'm telling the story. Are you kidding me? Of course. Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. It was a long burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. Oh, crap. Catch the fuse! The burning fuse was so damn quick. I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no. I thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom. Then, finally, at the last moment. Whew. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touching reunion. Um, that was a weird voice. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. <clears throat> Still capable of climbing ridiculously skinny logs. You would not walk across that. Some crazy ass Chinese tightrope walker might, but that's about all. Kill that Azuki! Make him bleed! Send him to Perdition! Finally, I found those boys. Or more precisely, they found me. Okay, it's one of these scenes again. Where's the Xbox controller? Come here. That's a good time to level up. Uh, what do we get? Rifle ammo. Yes. Don't throw dynamite at me, you bastards. How the hell did that get seen? was not particularly fun. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. Of course he did.
All right, where next? There's got to be another place to run to. Oh. Okay, I like that effect. I like that effect a lot. All right, there's a wagon train. I'm going to run for it. Luckily, I had located some dynamite. I still, however, had my work cut out for me. That's not good. That's not good. Ow. No. I assumed that was a bit more to hide behind. Get out of here. Yeah. Am I out of bullets already? I wonder if I can get up next to him on that right side. Looks like it. Show yourself, you coward. <sighs> that thing could not turn that far, surely. Anyone else? What are you? Yellow? Oops, wrong button. Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. Come on. Oh, double kill. Close, but no cigar. A reaction time of 0.3. Come on, that's pretty good. It's the hand speed thing I don't get. There's got to be a huge factor in what's going on. I'm sure it just told me then in the tooltip as well, but never mind. I've worked it out. I was looking at the numbers at the bottom, but then because I'd worked out what the hand speed was doing, I didn't pay attention to him.
Yeah, just your hand position using A and D, not left stick. To draw faster. I was assuming left stick was being used to um, aim where you're actually pointing. But it's not with the mouse. But it's not. Okay. Understanding now. I'll probably still manage to get as far as I have without working that out, but you know. as he was I was just a bit faster and as he lay wounded I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant he shouted at me is that what this is about Bob went with Butch and Sundance to South America you ain't never finding him <laughs> Those were his last words. So it's only taken, what, seven episodes? And I finally worked out how the dueling is meant to work. I guess it gets more difficult as the game goes on and you kind of have to work that out, but never mind, it's, uh, well, we've got it now, we've got it. Although this number is still ridiculously low, so there's something about it I'm not getting, but, you know, I can't look three places at once. I can't keep the, uh, the focus thing on the target, watch where his hand is, and look in the bottom left of the screen to keep an eye on the speed as I magically tap left and right. So, never mind. We'll get there, we'll get there. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks for coming. See you next time.